Okay, so let's get going on the Godzilla versus uh, Colossal Titan in a fight. So let's do it. I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to start with kind of like a kind of a straight line over here for the top of Godzilla's head. Down right here for kind of the flat portion of Godzilla's head. That's kind of like the back of it right there. Downward a little bit. He's got that little slope. Line out for the snout. And down right there for the front of the snout, okay? Line over here, curve up right there for kind of the front of that snout right there. Up over here for the cheekbone line. By the way, don't forget to stick around for the whole lesson. It's not going to be long, it's going to be very short. Uh, but yeah, stick around for the entire thing till the end of the video. Because uh, then you're going to learn a lot more. Maybe a lot more than you thought you would. Let's go here for the eye, line over here, up, line down, and line over here. So it's kind of like a backwards triangle for the eye. Dot right there for the uh, nasal cavity, the nostril, basically. Downward right here, curve underneath, and now we're gonna go Right there for the teeth, up over here, and we're going to go right here into the teeth right there. Line underneath here, for underneath, pulling up, curve back, and we're going to extend the neck back here a little bit. A little bit more. His neck gets bigger as it goes down, so that's something to remember. Uh, obvious, you know, uh, an obvious thing, of course. Line right there for the arm. Line over here. Maybe a little bit bigger of an arm there. Curve right here for the crick of the elbow. Line over here down. Don't make his arms too long because that's just not how he is. We haven't even added the spikes yet, so right now it looks like Lizard Man or something. Curve line over there for the kind of the uh, waist going down over there. <clears throat> Let's put his arm on this side because that's going to be a little bit more relevant right here. Right there, you guys' arm. Down over here. And. And the claw right there on that side, and the claw on this side. Claw on this side as well. Right on. Cool, cool. Okay, now we're gonna go down. Well, let's let's put some spikes on here to get it established. So right there, one spike. Think of his spikes as mountains. You can draw through that other line a little bit. We can kind of mess with that there line over here line over here now we got those spikes maybe curl over here for the Godzilla's back a little bit this will be underneath them where we'll, we can fix that that's the cool part about Godzilla is he's very forgiving you know the like you can kind of draw a lot of places right here curve right there for the leg area he's got his big fat legs right they go down and then let's, you know, let's just get into the other arm over here. So curve over here. Thumb. Line over here. Claw. 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 Right there. And then we can start filling in kind of the spikes in the back. I wouldn't think too much about them. If you really want to though like there's a free godzilla uh you know lesson that i have over on gumroad i'm going to try to put the link in the description hey let's take a quick break and i want to talk to you about something very important and that is cute drawings something you all want to do and i understand when you're doing some of this stuff sometimes things don't turn out the way you want right sometimes the head's too big or the arm's too long or the line is wobbly or what do i do here how big do i make the eyes i understand all these questions so i made a guide for you to kind of clear up anything that you have. Pretty much all the questions I got on cute drawings, I 
answer them all in this guide. It is a 20 page guide entirely on how to turn anything cute. Like I go over head sizes. Oh shit. So let me give you an example really fast. So something we talk about a lot is proportion and that is the most important part of drawing something cute. So what I do is I go over the eyes and how big to make the eyes compared to the head. And that is one way to do it. But 90, 5% of the cute stuff you see everywhere has the exact same formula and this is it. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is and then I throw other extras like you know expressions and also cool poses you can do. I'm not gonna have this book up forever so get it right now while you can and it is totally free right now in the description. All you gotta do is go down put your email in and your name and then you download it. Description is completely 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 free. Uh, it is uh, an ebook as well and that's kind of basically where, you know, these are great lessons, of course, to kind of learn. But if you want to learn it on, on a deeper level, like Godzilla's anatomy, uh, you know, uh, how to draw simple forms with Godzilla, uh, you know, how many plates are in his back. I think there's like 37 or something, right? Um, you know, maybe what are what are the shape of certain plates, like that stuff. If you really want to know how to draw it, where you're sitting around one day doodling Godzilla and you're like, whoa, that's pretty good. You know, if you're like, whoa. Oh my God, like, I, I don't know, you know, it, it's like this internal knowledge of it. Um, then go get that ebook. Like, it's free right now. It's just the head. Um, and then I think uh, there's a, uh, yeah, it's pretty much free over there, but go check it out. So, <laughs> line up over here. Okay, line underneath here for the throat, right there. And before we do anything else, I'm going to draw, uh, I was going to say the Titan arm over here. Yeah, a little bit thicker than that. Colossal Titan arm you want it to be. Right there. Something like that. He's getting getting wrapped up a little bit. Maybe he's making a fist. Something like that, fist on this side, and you got his arm sticking through. He's trying to get one, get a punch in there. And let's draw his head over here. Top of his head. Downward, about here. Line back over here, kind of the brow. Nose. Other brow over here on this side. Cool, cool. Ear. His ear is pretty small compared to his head. That's kind of one thing when you draw kaijus and, and like giant monsters, right? Line over here. And let's see. Let's say his arm is on this side. Unless he's throwing that punch a little bit right there. There we go mouth downward over here he's making that weird grimace um big i'm a huge attack on titan fan if you saw the finale let me know about that uh like what you thought about it line over here the jaw and let's see where what what, are, what pose is he gonna make all right so maybe he's just gonna be like neck over here you know he's really trying to fight over here some his arm will probably be down here somewhere He's, you know, we're just seeing like the upper body of him for the most part. Yeah, something like that. There we go. And then maybe this is like the middle of his back over here. Yeah, something like that. That would make sense there. Cool. His arm, yeah, his arm's a little stretched out, but I, I think I think that will work. Okay. So we got Godzilla over here, and let's just say his foot's coming down over here on this side and he's, he's really he's really you know we're gonna see his feet you know he's jumping around in that last movie so Godzilla's all over the place all right something like that and then maybe we could put Godzilla's tail over here over on this side like so we draw like some small kind of spikes on the end of that made some ridges right there 
Okay, cool. So we got the hard part out of the way. Now we're gonna draw like let's let's go into the uh, Titan here first. He's got the eyes on this side. You want to make him angry, right? So you want to draw those little lines right there. He's got the gritting of the teeth and his whole side of his cheek is showing. That's like a big part of that character. Is we got the all the muscles in the face showing. Line over here. He's got like a dot for the most part. And then we can fill in the rest with dark. Line over here for the kind of the muscles exposed on the side. And then we can do thin little lines. There's you know, we're on a, we're on a big scale right here. So it's hard to draw these thin sinewy lines with this. So we're just indication, right? We're drawing these lines and the you know, the viewer makes it up in, you know, in their head essentially. Line right here. And I think in the back there there's uh, some musculature, right? Obviously his muscles all over him, but maybe a line over here thin line and a lot of this can be indicated as well that's the cool part about this so I know on his wrist he's got like a band of tendon there and then you can kind of see the bones on his hand and then there's like redness around that all right stay with me here we're almost kind of almost done so we're gonna go over here kind of change the angle of the elbow and again, the sinewiness of of that right there on this side. You know, we're drawing this like these little lines right there, which are indication. They're, you know, they're they're not drawing every single line because that would be too much. That'd be wild. We're drawing a couple of lines going in the direction of of what's going on here. The direction is probably the most important part. Right there. I forget where he has like more bone. I think over here at the top. And then, um, and right here underneath his eye. Forgot about that one. And you can go as, as deep as you want into this. This is obviously a more complicated uh, drawing the normal you can kind of go really deep but I would say accenting the lines let's go over here with Godzilla draw a couple of hashtags on his arms here to kind of um, you know maybe the snake belly right there the change in that and then the hashtags are just indication for scales for the most part Just a complete indication, but we want to throw little darks around certain areas. Like darks create focal points. Darks create, uh, you know, a more simple way to view the drawing. Something like this and dark in the mouth. Uh, it it really helps out when you're doing that. Let's say the snake belly right there. He's got lines across. And you can kind of go on, honestly, like forever. You can kind of keep adding little dark details. We're doing it with a marker, obviously, so it is very different than doing this with, um, than doing this with, uh, you know, like colored pencils or pencils. It's it's a way different process, uh, you know. Plus, I'm drawing it straight out. I didn't do any kind of st structure like I would have, but um, you can kind of keep going in with little details. Try to do like a thinner line in certain areas. Line right there, the ear, close that off. You'll start seeing stuff where you're like, okay, I need to do this here. I need to do this here. I need to do this here. So I may have put some dark over there in the background of, uh, you know, of the tail, right? Or right here, maybe a little bit of anger in Godzilla's face, just a tad. And it's fun to do it because you just kind of start doing it all over the place. There is a way to overwork it, but you're trying not to get there. I don't, I don't. I think it's far from being overworked. I'm just putting in a dark in like the armpit area, like where there'd be less light, like armpit under the neck. Uh, you know, maybe same thing with with obviously with him. He's a little bit more exposed, I think, 
because I think Colossal Titan would totally lose. Plus, I think in reality, like at least the scale these guys are at, I think Godzilla would be like three times bigger than him, so it wouldn't even really be a contest. But even if they were the same size, I just, uh, you know, Godzilla's pretty quick, and and uh, the Colossal Titan is is not. I just see I just see Godzilla beating him in every direction there. All right, that's pretty much it. You can like I said, you can kind of keep going, but. Uh, I hope you like that. Share the video if you can. That really helps. And I want you to stick around. Uh, we're going to do another drawing lesson together, okay? But let's stick around and do another one together, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so that was amazing. You finished this lesson, but keep it going. Keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here. It's going to be within the same theme. And you want to keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.